All right. Hello, hello, hello to all uh, the verbals out there. Welcome to your bonus read for this week. You had the most views, so thank you for all of the love and support. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome, welcome, welcome. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, feel free to check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome. For a private reading, the link will be posted in the description box below the video. Also, check the community section of the channel so that you can read or find out about membership off um, offers. And we are going to start with your reading, all right? A bonus reading um, at that. So, at the bottom of the deck, you have unconditional love. All right, so some of you are in a relationship where there's a lot of give and take, there's reciprocity, there's a lot of affection, or this could be you dating someone and you're realizing that you're falling in love because you are or have been making healthier choices. Some of you are meditating, you are getting into yourself, you may be putting um, affirmations out into the universe, you're eating right, you're exercising, you are loving or practicing self-love, self-care, and it's making you a happier person. It's bringing in the energy of stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. So you're more open-minded at this time. And you're breaking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve your, um, your higher self, this new you. All right? So let's see. What else is here? A Virgo. And their bonus reading. This is a timeless reading. All right. This reading is timeless. All right. A Virgo. Let's see. Ooh. King of Pentacles. King of Cups. Aquarius energy is here. Here you are in your power. Ten of Swords at the top of the deck. Ten of Wands. Whoop. Okay, so, so yeah, this I feel like this is you putting it into some things that no longer serve. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You got a lot of major arcanas here. A lot of major arcanas. So I feel like this universe, if you were not able to put it into some things, the universe is, okay? All right, so right now, you're focused on, could be focused on a same-sex relationship. You could also be focused on your finances, stabilizing your finances, doing what you love that brings in stability you could also be focused on a cancer pisces or scorpio the person that you love you could be focused on a higher level of commitment with this person any one of those things let me know in the comment section i feel like in the past there was a situation with an aquarius that you wanted to heal but i feel like you looked at this person as being a snake or you needed clarity. You needed to know how to move this union forward. This person disappointed you. So some of you at this time is thinking about how this person disappointed you in the past, how they betrayed you, how they let you down, how they made you feel like you were out, left out in the cold with your nose pressed up against the window, okay? Right now, you may be feeling overwhelmed, bogged down, feeling like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. You feel like there are people watching you. This could be your family members, your friends, okay? And you may feel like you're um, in an uphill battle. Some of you feel like you're in an uphill battle, okay? And I feel like you fear that this makes you look weak, that, that you don't look strong to others, okay? That you're not in control, okay? Could have something to do with a Leo, an Aries, or a Capricorn. This is, you're hoping that people don't see you as being toxic, manipulative, have, having addictions, overindulging in things, okay? Um, not being understanding, gaslighting, okay? But right now, I feel like with the outcome being a nine of pentacles, I feel like you're focused on yourself, you're focused on your finances, and you're focused on staying to yourself at this time. Some of you are focused on staying to yourself. I want to see why this Ten of Swords is here. Why are you feeling, what caused you to feel disappointed or why are you thinking about a disappointment? 
What is this that disappointed the sign of Virgo? Okay, it could be a Leo involved. Yeah, definitely a Leo. So there was some type of change that caused you to walk away from someone. This disappointment caused you to walk away from someone and you needed strength and courage to do so. Could be a Leo. You had some type of aha moment. It empowered you, but in that way, it broke your heart at the same time. This could be with a family member. Could be with someone you were committed to, someone you were married to, someone that you've known for a long time, someone that you shared a home with. And I feel like your intuition with this feminine coming out, your intuition told you to go within, to find the answers, okay? And you, I see you questioning yourself, saying, why am I allowing this? Why am I dealing with this person? And you walked away. You walked away from this disappointment. That cycle came, you put that cycle to an end. That's where their healthy, healthy choices came into play. So in the near future, you're feeling bogged down because this person, like you're guarded against this person. I feel like you were vulnerable. Like you let this person into a space in your heart and they let you down. Okay. Now I feel like this person wants to come in to nurture this situation. They want to show you some compassion. They want to come in with a new offer in the near future. This could be the masculine energy. Someone who wants to be in control. They want to dominate you in some kind of way. And you're trusting your intuition. You're asking your spirit guides for help. You're not going to let this person in. I feel like you're going to block them. Yeah. Block. You're, you're, you're leaving them out in the cold. And that's why you fear with the strength card. This fear is you fear that you have to tame yourself from this person because they're controlling. All right. And with this double card, why is the double card here? So you're hoping that this person change, like they change their attitude. They change their behavior. Yeah. That they had some type of awakening and moved on from the toxic energy. You're hoping that they're not wearing a mask, that they're ready to plant new seeds, and that this will be a wish fulfillment for you. But you're avoiding this person, avoiding a conversation, avoiding being around this person because you, you don't want to be let down. You're clinging to the past. And I, for some of you, you're still healing. You still remember what this person did. And you're healing from some inner childhood wounds. This could be someone that's in an authority uh, figure. Why is this nine of pentacles here? And you got outcome. Yeah. See, your, your, your intuition is telling you, it's giving you epiphanies. You're having downloads that this person is not right. Like they're still not right in their spirit. They're still toxic. And that's why you're not coming to together. This could be a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. That's why you're not starting over with them. You're more passionate about your own energy at this time. Some of you could be going through the dark night of, of the soul and you don't want to have any doubts. And because you doubt that this person may change, you're staying away from them. Yeah. And you're focusing on stabilizing your finances. Mm -hmm. So in your separation from this person, this person is longing for your presence. But you're not paying them any mind. <laughs> you're you're focused on yourself, yourself at this time. Yourself, your bag, stability, self care. What else is here? You could be focused on your children. Okay, focused on a new beginning. But you're, yeah, you're distancing yourself. You're definitely like not coming back together with this person. Okay. I feel like you you may not want anything to do with them. But I do see someone here reaching out out of concern. So this person may be contacting you to check on you some kind of way. <clears throat> yeah, because they feel like you blocked them out and they feel like they're in some type of prison, imprisonment and can't get out. They're upset because you blocked them. All right, 
or this could be vice versa. So apply the energy as it fits to your story. But I'm going to leave it at that, Virgo. This is your bonus reading. So thanks again for all of the views. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up image. Be blessed. Be safe. I'm sending love, light, peace, and healing energy to you as well as your families. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I will see you next time. Peace.